everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to Chicken Pops. My name is Hen, hence the name Chicken Pops for my channel. And I like to play The Sims. Obviously, you can see what's happening on your screen. It's a Sims, I'm obsessed with it. Um, anyway, on most days, uh, black days like today, does that make sense? But anyway, on days like today, I like to post build videos here on my channel, but on other days, I also like to hop into and create a sim where I can create tiny digital people that I usually turn into spellcasters because I'm obsessed with spellcasters, okay? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, I hope you're all doing good because I know I'm good, so I hope you're good. Let me know in the comments down below how you're doing, okay? Okay, good. All right, so, uh, 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 train of thought, Hen. Um, I, sorry, my brain is potato already because uh, I've been working on this build for, for quite some time and instead of taking a break like a normal person would before editing, I just I decided to do the build and edit everything all pretty much in the same day. <laughs> but what I'm building today, if you haven't seen the, uh, the title of the video or the thumbnail, this is going to be a magic or crystal shop for a spellcaster. I, I, I think I named the, the lot Molly's uh, Magic Crystal Shop or something like that. Um, I don't know. And I literally, <laughs> it's so funny, I literally just finished building this and <laughs> I already forgot what I named the place. But, 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 okay, so the thing is, I created a little uh, a spell cast a sim or, or a witch. Um, already and so this is this is going to be the shop that she pretty much owns and I didn't put it in the realm of magic world I put it in Moonwood Mill um, because at least in my brain I think that spellcasters and werewolves would kind of get along and you know there, there might be some some mutually beneficial things uh, sort of going on in, in sort of like the, the powers of werewolves and witches uh, for, for them to kind of want to associate with one another, um, if, if that makes sense. Uh, because, you, you know, you, you'd kind of think werewolves would, you know, go and find, you know, crystals and that type of thing more easily, and then they can maybe sell it onto the witches, and then the witches in return can give them potions uh, and help them with spells and that type of thing. Does, does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So anyway, for the build, I decided I wanted to make something um, kind of, kind of European looking, but also very, very witchy because obviously this is going to be a witch's shop. Um, so I, I did that. I added a nice big tower and I'm going to put a, um, a what do you call it? But the, the, the witch's brewing, what, what thing? What the heck do you call that? Oh, the cauldron. There we go. There, this, sorry, English isn't my first language, um, but you call it, you call it a cauldron. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in the tower, and that's where um, you know Molly is going to uh, create all of the potions and things that she's going to sell, um, and yeah, ho hopefully turn a profit. Um, I don't know. I might I might get bored with the gameplay in a couple of days and just never t <laughs> never never touch this shop again um yeah so like i said i want to make it look kind of european looking and that's why i went with a lot of the get to work items um and i i think it i think it turned out pretty decent um like the, the majority of the exterior is pretty much just get to work things so everything does look like it sort of belongs uh, in this space uh, but yeah, so downstairs is going to be pretty much the main area of the shop. There's going to be um, like, like just just crystals and and potions and you know just knickknacks and odds and ends all over the freaking place because I wanted the whole build to look very very cozy. But you'll you'll see that in a second. Also decided to add a little bit of a chimney stack, but I didn't like the initial uh, the wallpaper that I put on that because the the stone texture that you know, fits with the foundation. Um, it, it has like a border on it, so it's not as useful as I'd like it to be. I wish that EA had kind of, you know, made two different versions of that, of that stone texture on the wallpaper so that you can put one, you know, at the bottom with like the little trim and then, you know, as you go, as you go higher up, um, you know, it's just so that it's, it's just like a, a 
continuation of the stone and it doesn't have that stupid little border. Like, I mean, it's it's not stupid, it's just it's it's frustrating. There's, there's the right word. Um, yeah, so here I am placing the little stairs. So the idea is that the, yeah, like this whole shop area, like the, the main shop area is pretty much like double volume, um, just to kind of, like, like I wanted it to feel cozy, right? But I also wanted it to have some, some drama and make it look kind of, you know, you know, cool. Just, just, I don't know, I don't know. The, 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 the vibe for me is just, it's, it's immaculate. I just, I re I really, really like what I did with this place. And I, I don't like tooting my own horn uh, too often, but it just, it, it, it happened that, it just so happens that I really, really like what I did with this place. Uh, so that little room on the end of, of the bottom of the building, uh, that's just going to be like a bathroom. Also thought I'd add some platforms to uh, the build, uh, just just to make it look a little bit, um, I don't know, what would the word be? Somebody help me with my English. But just sort of like, it's, it's I don't know, a, a little bit more bespoke, I guess you could say. But yeah. Um, that's the plan and then I also added like that that little buh, 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 words but like that little place on the bottom floor um, I'm going to take the wall out of the, the chimney stack and I'm going to actually later on place the fireplace inside there oh also 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 see I'm painting the ceilings I'm painting I hardly ever do that but I thought that in this build it would actually be important so it was in the back of my mind the entire time don't forget to paint the ceilings, don't forget to paint the ceilings and I actually remembered this time so I'm very very excited about that um, yeah so again for the interior use the get to work wallpaper um, just just again to make everything look like my favorite word I want everything to look cohesive uh, also did some terrain paint on the outside just to kind of make things look just a tad bit more realistic. Here I added some stones um, or rocks. Uh, I think rocks would be a better word because, you know, rocks are bigger than stones. Like stones could basically be like teeny tiny little pebbles, I think. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make it look a little bit more like the, the rest of the world. Like you, you probably saw that there are some, some rocks and things uh, off in the distance in Moonwood Mill. Um, did a lot of lush landscaping around it because I wanted the place to also look very very established like it's been here for ages uh, a lot of flowers because I also wanted to make it look kind of magical uh, so that's why I used those flowers I also decided to go with you know a lot of oranges and yellows uh, because Molly the sim that I created who owns the shop unfortunately I didn't make a cast video for her or anything but um, her favorite colors the colors uh, you know yellow and then also red so I did put some red flowers and stuff around the place uh, so that's that's why I made that choice <laughs> um, what else oh yes also thought it would be very very important to have some ivy and things growing on the side of the walls again also just to make the place look like it's a little bit more established and has been here a while uh, also added some wisteria to the walls because that's really really pretty um, yeah, and I, I think that's pretty much it for the exterior, I think. Oh, also, I, I, I never use these little base game items. that They don't really match the the roof tile, like those little awning things. They The, the roof tiles don't match, but I thought it looked kind of cute, so I kept, it, I kept it all in. Also, I put down a, a, a ton of chimney stacks. I don't know why, because there aren't going to be a lot of fireplaces in the build. Um, but I thought it would look cool that, you know, once you get your sim to light the fireplace, um, you know, th there'd just be like smoke and stuff coming up uh, off, of, off of the little chimneys. And for, for some reason, I, th I feel like it looks kind of magical because I have actually a very, very, no, words, but a very vivid memory of watching Hocus Pocus and uh, like the, the first one, the one that came out in like the early 90s. But there's like a shot of, of the Sanderson sisters house uh, in that movie and you can sort of see the chimney and you know there's there's like purpley smoke coming out of the chimney stack. I'm, uh, again I might be completely making this up in my brain but I, ca I kind of remember that and so like since since that time um, you know I, I kind of associated like you know smoke coming out of a chimney with, with butchers and I thought it would be kind of appropriate uh, in this build. Uh, yeah okay so here we are starting on the 
interior, I used the fireplace from, uh, what do you call it, uh, Cottage Living. Uh, it, it, it just kind of worked for the space. Uh, here I'm removing the wall and putting it, you know, in there just, just to add like a tiny little bit more space. I was kind of scared that there wouldn't be enough, um, you know, space for, for all of the things that I wanted to put in here because even though the build does kind of look big, it's not really, um, even though it did take me ages to freaking furnish it. I uh, also got to make sure that there's good lighting. So uh, thank you Horse Ranch Pack for those wonderful chandeliers. <laughs> and also these little, uh, I guess you call them wall sconces or lanterns or whatever. Um, but yeah, so this little area that I'm working on right now, this is going to be uh, one of the display areas. I'll put it right by the window so that anybody walking by can just kind of see in and see what the shop is actually about. So there's going to be a ton of crystals and, and you know, those, those crystal skulls and, and all of those things that you can unlock with the crystal creations pack. They're all going to be displayed there and I think it's going to look really, really nice. Well, I mean, it does actually look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, also I did a little bit of a cheat with that um, because I I don't I don't have the freaking time to uh, you know go harvesting crystals and finding all of them. So fortunately, if you just go onto the gallery and you you search by room and you type in crystals or potions and that type of thing, that's how that's how I literally got absolutely everything in the shop. Um, I, I went to like a, a bunch of different rooms and downloaded them all and then put all of the things in into Molly's inventory and then I had her come to the lot and then I placed you know everything where I wanted it so yeah that, that kind of worked out really nicely um, yeah here I'm working on the little bathroom thank you very much for the vampire pack <laughs> for being the perfect items or for having the perfect items for me to create this tiny little bathroom like it's nothing special literally just a toilet and a sink uh, but that's that's all you need um, I also thought it would be important to have like a nice little seating area uh, for the customers to kind of come and chill because I don't want it to be just a crystal shop I want it to be kind of like a, a community hangout you know area in my mind because I I would like to think that Molly is a very kind sim um, who just who wants to do good for everybody and that's that's why I wanted to have like a little little living room area where people can just come and hang out and you know have a nice little chat and all of that oh I love I love these little shelf things that I've just put up around the door that's so freaking cool um, yeah so uh, also these uh, display cases I guess you could call them the display cases that came with the uh, crystal creations pack I wanted to make like an entire wall of that I don't know why I didn't complete it in the first place um, I think I wanted to put like the, uh, the the little creation station where you kind of work on the jewelry and stuff underneath it but then I thought no this isn't this isn't a jewelry shop this is a crystal selling shop so um, yeah that's that's pretty much what I wanted to do so I, I think I changed my mind later on and I was just like you know what let's just make the, the whole wall um, you know a display case for all of the crystals and things uh, so that people can buy them it's instead of having to come over to make jewelry so that's that's what I went with I just I, I went with my original plan um, and I think I think it worked out I really think it worked out um, yeah another little seating area I think when I went into the game to kind of set everything for sale um, I, I set that chair for sale I could I could be wrong um, but I thought it would be like a nice little spot also to have a sim sit down and just admire the crystal display thing um, if that makes any sense I don't know I just I, I'm the kind of person I sometimes just kind of like to sit down and and look at things I'm, I'm also like a, a people watcher so if I go out and I have like a coffee on my own I just kind of like to to watch people is that weird is that weird it's I mean maybe a ton of people do it and I just think it's weird <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so here I'm working on the, the cauldron room. There, I remember the word. I remember the word. This is the cauldron room. This is where Molly is going to create all of the potions that she's going to sell. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much the entire build. I might I might add a few bits and bobs still. Um, you know, just, just kind of fill up the space uh, and make it look, you know, kind of cozy and magical because that, that was my idea. But yeah, that's that's the build. I'll have I'll have the shop uploaded to the gallery. I haven't completely play tested it yet. 
Um, so if, if there is anything in here that, don't, that, 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 that does not work, uh, you know, maybe, maybe just move them around a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play test and see if, uh, if everything works properly and I'll, I'll probably fix it. So, you know what, maybe if, if things are a little bit different than they appear in the video when you download it off of the gallery, um, that's, that's why, okay? Um, yeah, so my gallery ID is uh, Chicken Pop Sims. Uh, you can you can have a little bit of a look around there and, and you know just I, I, I guess see what else I have created before. Um, Chicken Pop Sims is also my Twitter or X handle, so you can follow me on there if you want to have a conversation with me. If you don't want to have a conversation with me on there, at least leave me a comment down below. Uh, of the, down below in the comments for this video. <laughs> um, also like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Um, you know that that would be cool. Um, and also, you know what? Tell tell me what you thought of the build. You can you can roast it. You can tell me it's absolutely terrible. You can roast my voiceover. Just be kind and respectful of everybody else in the comment section because you don't know what people are dealing with. But I'm cool with it. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you guys so so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I'll have another build out soon. And I hope I get to see you all next time. <laughs> Okay, bye.